Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little book haul for you guys. So if you guys are interested then just keep on watching. But before we begin let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it go ahead and click that notification bell. I post every single week and fall and Christmas time are my favorite time of year. So I usually end up with like an abundance of videos and end up having to upload multiple times a week so trust me you don't want to miss out alrighty so let's just jump right into it so pretty recently I went to all of the bookstores with my siblings um, my sister and I love going to bookstores it's one of our favorite places and we ended up going to Barnes & Noble and Half Price Books and I also have some books from um, Amazon. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm just going to show them in no particular order. I'm just going to grab the first one nearest to me and we'll get started. So the first one is called Anna and the French Kiss. I remember hearing Kathleen Lights talk about this book for years and years and so I finally got the book and actually did end up reading it and it was cute. It was a cute book. Um, very light read. I love books that are like really like have big print. Um, I like very easy reads. It's kind of like a cutesy romance book. Um, it's uh, mainly for teens, I guess, but I mean, I like teen fiction and all of that. So um, yeah, I actually did enjoy this. Um, and let's see, this one is $10.99 and I believe you can find it on Amazon. So if I can find it for you, I will link it down below. And before I forget, this is by Stephanie Perkins. This next book is called The Throne of Fire, and it is by Rick Riordan. Um, I have yet to finish this. I keep, I don't know, I, this is like my, supposed to be my travel book, and I've read just a couple of chapters, like in the past couple of months, but ugh, I keep forgetting about this book. It's just tucked away in my library. It involves these teens, and it also has like Egyptian mythology, which I'm really interested in. So it is pretty interesting, but I'm only halfway through and it's been forever since I've been trying to get through this book. Uh, a little bit, I mean, like towards the middle, it was kind of boring. I kind of got lost a little bit, but I, I just need to get back into this book and give you like a final review, you know what I mean? But um, I do like the fact that it includes Egyptian mythology because like I said, it's very interesting, at least to me. So if you guys are interested in stuff like that, then check this book out. And this one was $18.99 in case you're interested. Um, but again, if I can find links for these books, then I will list them down below. If I don't, please just let me know which book you want help finding and I will help you find it. This next book is from Half Price Books. Half Price Books is amazing. If you have not been there and you love to read, you're missing out. Um, this book was only $4.99 and um, let's see, originally it was like eight bucks, which is not bad, but uh, I have not read this yet, but it is called The Land of Stories, A Grim Warning. I just really like very storybook-like stories. You know what I mean? Like kind of like fairy tale, children's fairy tales. Um, and it says a grim warning. So I'm assuming that's like a, a nod to the Grimm, the Brothers Grimm. You know what I'm talking about? But um, yes, this is by Chris Colfer, in case you're interested. So yeah, and also the cover looked really cool, which I know don't judge a book by its cover, but it looks really cool, okay? Uh, so I can't wait to read this. Again, this looks like a very easy read, so I really like that. So currently I am reading the Harry Potter series. I am finally on the last book. I have not yet started it, so please, no spoilers. But um, I'm also reading another series alongside with it, which, I mean, it has nothing to do with Harry Potter, but it was the summertime, you know, and so during the summer I'm all about mermaids, and this series is all about mermaids right here so uh let's see i already finished the first book which is called the deep blue and it is by jennifer donnelly and this actually is published by disney which i did not know most of my books that i ended up getting were published by disney so i didn't even know that but um anything about mermaids i'm obsessed with 
So this is the first book, Deep Blue. And it was actually pretty interesting. Very easy read. The chapters are very short, which I love. And I got through this very easily. Very big print, as you can see. Love books like that. There's four books in the whole series, and I got all four. Let's uh, see. Oh, yes. Okay, this is the second one. This is called Rogue Wave. Look how pretty the covers are, though. Oh, so gorgeous. And then the third book is called Dark Tide. So you can see this was only $4.99 the last well yeah the last three were $4.99 and this is the last one book four and this was $8.99 this is called sea spell and they're all by jennifer donnelly we actually went to two different half price books and ended up finding all of them my husband actually found all of them for me so grateful to him and yeah if you like really easy reads then i highly suggest this um, the only thing is like I finished the first book and it didn't have like a complete story It's like you almost have to buy the next book to find out what's gonna happen. So I mean, that's cool, but also like <laughs> Kind of want an end to this book. You know what I mean? <sighs> but I will keep you guys posted. Okay, the next couple books are straight up Disney um, Let's see um this book is called A Whole New World, A Twisted Tale by Liz Braswell, and it's $4.99. And let's see, what does it say? What if Aladdin had never found the lamp? So that's what this book is about, which is very interesting. I have not read this yet, and I'm so excited. It looks so cool. Oh my gosh. But this is another um, Disney publishing, of course. But this also looks like a very, very easy read. I love that. And I don't know, the whole idea of like, what if Aladdin never found the lamp? It's kind of like, that is what drew me in. So again, if you love like different twists on Disney tales, then I would check this out. So I have an obsession with Disney villains. I love Disney villains. I don't even know why, but I guess um, the older I get, the more I'm into Disney villains rather than Disney princesses. I still love Disney princesses. Always have, but um, yeah. I've just gotten more and more into Disney villains. I feel like I understand them better. <laughs> but um, I found out that there is a book series about Disney villains by Serena Valentino. <sighs> And I had to have them. I actually saw them at Barnes and Noble, but I actually ended up, well, my husband actually surprised me with these and ordered them on Amazon. So the first one, uh, I don't even know if they're numbered or anything. I don't see any numbers on them, but the first one is called Mistress of All Evil, which is of course Maleficent. I mean, look at the packaging though. What? And it's that really soft, um, kind of like NARS packaging. Very, very nice. This was $17.99. And I love that even on, like when you take the little plastic cover off, the actual book has like what she turns into, the dragon. So I have not read any of these books yet. I'm kind of like saving them for spooky season. So I'm very, very excited about these. Um, so yes, this is the first one, Maleficent. The next one is Evil Thing by Serena Valentino. I think all of these are by Serena Valentino. Of course, Cruella, which is so perfect because Cruella just came out. Um, this was also $17.99. Let's see what the inside cover looks like. Oh, this is what the inside cover looks like. What? Oh my gosh, so cool. Does the back cover have anything? No, the back cover is always just plain, but I still love that they included that detail. And the next one is called Mother Knows Best, so I'm sure all you Disney fans know. Gothel. Let's see what the inside, oh wow. This artwork is amazing. I love the covers of these books. These are by far my favorite. Out of all these books, these covers win. Then I have The Odd Sisters. I'm assuming you know who this is about. 
see. Ooh, it's just the apple. <laughs> and I love the Evil Queen. I absolutely love the Evil Queen. But um, I think there's actually, huh, I didn't even notice that. So this is the Poison Apple from Snow White. But it's called the Odd Sisters. But I have this little trio. Boom, right there. Okay, let me take these out for you guys. So it comes like this, and it has Fairest of All, which is the Evil Queen. I just noticed that, wow. Okay, let's see, this was $15.99, but these, of course, came in a pack of three. I don't know how much it is, but if I do find that out, I will list it down below. But that is the inside cover, so cool. And it's so crazy, because I was like really uh, upset that I couldn't find it on this trip to uh, Barnes & Noble. I had seen these like every single time I went to Barnes & Noble and the one time I was like, okay, I need to buy them, they weren't there. And then before I knew it, they arrived in the mail and my husband was like, surprise. So uh, I was very surprised to say the least and very happy. But uh, okay, the next one is called The Beast Within and that is him, the prince. I feel like he looks better as the beast though, personally. <laughs> Let me know down below if you guys think the prince looked better as the beast or as the prince. Because I have seen uh, that a lot of people prefer him as the beast and I do too. And I don't know why. Even as a kid, I was like, he looked better before. <laughs> so um, yeah, vote down below. All right. And the last one is called Poor Unfortunate Souls. And that is, of course, Ursula. So that is so exciting. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I love getting into a good book, a good series. And reading is just one of my absolute favorite pastimes. So I'm super excited. So let me know if you guys have any books that I should check out because my collection is slowly growing and I don't mind adding a few more. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so that is it for this book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!